So I'm sitting here and I'm going over some numbers on how I did this month with the DeFi projects that we're in. I saw some stuff on the drip chart that I wanted to ask you guys because it looked different to me. I didn't know what I was looking at. And just kind of talk a little bit. I've also been trading futures tonight. What's kind of cool about futures is similar to crypto, you can almost trade them 24 hours a day. So the markets are closed from Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern time, but they open up at 5 or 6 p.m. Uh, it's, so it's three my my time. No, shit, I, I don't remember. But they start Sunday night, all right? They reopen Sunday night. And they move a lot slower in the evenings, but I'm up, I made $1,100 in the last like hour. So definitely look forward to talking to you guys more about futures. I think they are the future. That was dumb. That was really dumb. We'll just edit that out. And at some point, I'm going to show you how you can trade with other people's money. was also curious what you guys thought about the stock market and are we heading into a recession? I mean, we've been talking about how we're in a crypto bear winter, um, but some people, you know, say that we're not in a recession or they keep hearing that we're in a recession, but yet they don't feel it. They don't see it. Curious to know what you guys think about that. I think that there's like this lagging effect that happens you know you got this summer student loans are, are are coming back you know no longer get pardoned for not paying your monthly student loan you know and as uh q4 earnings that recently came out were not that good i think there's going to be continued layoffs people are going to be hurting they're going to be hurting for to, to find work but hey let's real quick i want i want you guys to help me out with the drip chart all right, so I popped open the drip chart because on the native DEX, I, you know, I see an increase in price action. Come over to DEX screener and it's, it's showing the same. I'm waiting to see if volume is going to start coming in here because this could be that third leg that I was talking about. I just was looking and I couldn't find the thing that that uh, uh, that I saw. Um, so now I feel like an idiot for bringing it up. But at any rate, looking at this this got me kind of like pumped up a little bit and then you know you can see it starting to change here what we want to see is volume coming in all right and and it's sunday we usually don't get that kind of volume so i'm hoping this is that third leg up that that uh that i was talking about uh, on one of the last videos that i did i got to get caught up on drip coach in, in his videos because he man he cranks them out like you know like you, you get like two to three a day from him and it's all fire too. Like, so before we go any further, I do want to quickly get into, uh, I was doing the numbers for February in terms of uh, the way that I do this is um, it's, I, I'm keeping track of the amount of money. What the heck is this? I'm keeping track of the amount of money that I'm pulling out right? And putting it either into my bank account. I'll be honest, I just use spritz. Okay. That's all I use. Um, anything in my MetaMask wallet, any profit, any whatever, I, it's going to spritz. The, the, this isn't necessarily um, profits uh, because some of these projects I have not ROI'd on. So Animal Farm. <clears throat> um, so the 770, what I did there is i um i took out some bnb because i had bnb staked in the farm but when the price shot up to like it was like 335 in the midst of a bear market <clears throat> i had um, uh my bnb at like two 280 275 280 i think was the average cost so i wanted to just take advantage of that price and um so i sold bnb um the 80 dollars i think that's from pigs uh, we come over to drip now look you guys can make fun of me i don't even re i don't really know what i was doing um i i think i i'm pretty sure that i wanted to buy dogs and i just didn't have anything to pull from at the time and so i just kind of pulled there and i did it twice so shoot me but uh 67 bucks total i pulled from drip furio oh such a sad such a sad thing, man. Like I had such such hopes for them. 37, a whopping $37. All right. Now, mischief of fortune. This is a banger. Um, real quick. So with Furio, I have ROI. Okay. So this one I ROI on. So anything that I pull after is profit. Um, mischief of fortune. I have not ROI yet, but 
I did, as long as this thing stays active, I will be ROIing within the next, I want to say two months, you know, because this is basically, this is like drip, only you're getting paid in a stable coin, USDC. Farm of Fortune, hands down, my most favorite project that I'm in. Uh, this is me pulling every five days, I'm basically pulling out um, an entire BNB, as you can see here. Uh, and that I made uh, $1,165 in profit, <clears throat> in profit because I have already ROI'd on this. All right, so this was pure profit. Um, Hex, have you guys seen Hex, man? Like, look at this, hang on. Look at Hex coming back. Look at that. Look at this pump. That's like matching was over here. So I'll be honest, I have not, um, <laughs> I have not been keeping up with what's going on with Hex and Pulse Chain and all that stuff. Like literally this month of February, I've really not, uh, I'm not dialed in. I, I was telling you guys that before. But anyway, I had a stake that matured, came to an end, and I saw the price going up and I'll probably regret selling. I still got a lot more in Hex. Uh, a lot of it's locked up for another year because um, I have it in stakes that um, I, I put like, I don't know, a year, two years. <clears throat> I'm, I'm hoping, you know, and banking that the next bull cycle, this thing just blasts off. But I, I have no idea. I really don't follow Hex a whole lot. But one of my stakes ended. I didn't, it was not a big stake. And I sold it because I just, I wanted this money. Um, you know, because you, you just got to sometimes pull some money out. <laughs> uh, Zeus nodes. So I, I don't think any of you guys would be in this. This was uh, back when nodes were like this, you know, huge thing. Um, and uh, the, I mean, the project is pretty much dead, although they do. Um, there's like one thing left that that I, I've got money staked in. And uh, so I pull profits uh, every now and again. I, I have ROI on Zeus. Cairo, Cairo is making a potential comeback here i, I gotta get kind of caught up with everything but uh 38 whopping 38 bucks seifu i took out 200 at the beginning uh this might have actually been it was be, it was before the uh uh it was before they did what they whatever they did actually the seifu why did that get in there i can't remember what this is well why why i have this here but we'll just kind of go with it I thought I remember taking something from here and selling it because um, I didn't I didn't sacrifice all of it. So that, that must be what it is. But anyway, so that's a uh, $3,187 I pulled out from all the DeFi projects. And, you know, the month of February, I mean, I was not doing anything I, like no work was being done around DeFi, no research, no nothing. I would just, you know, come onto the computer every other day and click some buttons and you know that's i mean look three thousand one hundred eighty seven dollars what well that's pretty good like you know to get that in a month i know some are bringing in way more <clears throat> and keep in mind this this uh this 3187 i'm pulling from things that i'm also reinvesting in Right, so I put money back into Mischief of Fortune. I put money back into Farm of Fortune. Obviously, I'm continually putting money into back into Animal Farm and Drip. Furio is kind of dead to me. Um, these, obviously, I'm not putting money back into, so I just pull when I can. Um, but this money is is again reflects just the money that I extracted. So tell me what you guys think. I'm curious to know in the comments down below, if you're in uh, a few different projects um, and you're pulling money, what's what's the best month you've had? And I get that there may be some of you that haven't even pulled any money yet, you know, because you're waiting, you know, we are all waiting, right, for this next leg up. But here, let me see if I can show you something. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this here. So this is the futures account that I have. So I'm in this trade here using Fibonacci. We're up right now. So this is, I'm up $70 and I have my uh, target right here. So you see how this has been playing out exactly. Moving this up here. So now the trade is free. I will be in profit no matter what. Oh, 
Oh. That was a hell of a trade. But you see how it happened just just like to a T. So anyway, I hope I caught that. Let me know, guys, how you guys are doing on your DeFi projects. What is your best DeFi project that you're in? Are there any others besides Drip and Animal Farm that you would like me to go over? And I will catch you guys all on the next one.